Well, speaking of fun events, the 11th annual Pebble Beach Food and Wine event is returning, and a lot of our Sacramento restaurants and chefs will be participating. In fact, today, we have these two amazing guys who are quickly and very busily cooking here in the Sac and Co. Ikea kitchen. We have chefs Oliver Ridgeway and Noah Mansfield, who you can actually see at this prestigious event, and it smells incredible here in the kitchen right now. Okay, but r really fast, though, Oliver. So you actually have some restaurants here in Sacramento that will be opening here. I do, yeah. I spent six years at Grange, and uh, I'm about to open up a restaurant on 6th and Capital called Camden Spit and Larder, oh. which is my first personal restaurant. And we're also uh, joining forces with Track 7 mm -hmm. uh, to open their first restaurant called The Other Side. Oh. So that's opening in May, and mine will open in September. So really busy year. Uh, incredibly busy Exciting. year. And obviously, we're noticing you, you have a dialect, so you're originally from England, but you've spent a lot of your time here and the Sacramento area. It's becoming such an incredible food destination. And uh, being a part of this kind of, this growth of farm to fork, I think is absolutely fantastic. And that's something too that you're a part of as well, Noah, right? Yes, absolutely. I'll be the head chef of the uh, other side restaurant that Oliver spoke of. Woohoo! Excellent. So when people come and they eat and they enjoy the food, they know who to pat on yes. the back, right? Yes. Okay, so Oliver, though, let's talk though about your involvement with this amazing festival happening. You are currently cooking something that people can enjoy at the event, right? Yep, it's my, my fourth year going down there and then having so many chefs from Sacramento this year is just a true testament to what Sacramento is doing on, the, in, on a big platform of food. Um, the idea, I think, when I'm down there is to showcase what we have in ingredients but in talent as well and, and some decadence. So you're going to have walking um, celebrations where you can go to tasting stations, so we have some smaller bites here. Mm -hmm. And there are luncheons too. So we're actually doing a Sacramento Chef's Lunch, and this is an example of some of the dishes that we might be doing down there. Okay, um, and what, what are some of these dishes? Tell so us. beets, for me, are like always in season in Sacramento. So mm -hmm. I've got this beautiful beet ketchup. We've got uh, some roasted beets here from Cape Valley, um, garnished with some Saker Hills olive oil, and we have some spelt here from Ruse Foreman Farm. Oh, I love it. Um, here is a beautiful Snake River Farms, really? um, which is sourced from Van Fleck Ranch. Um, this is a New York steak Wagyu breed, just high-end, beautiful, and the key to a steak is just letting it rest. Seriously, you are making my mouth water so incredibly bad. Just I mean, cutting that steak, you got the amazing beets. That beet ketchup, the color is phenomenal on that. It that really is. is. So it's a very pretty. natural ketchup, too. There's no additives to it. There's about four ingredients, and it just has that tanginess that you're and looking for. So we're for. talking farm to fork, whole, healthy foods directly from... Literally, the farm to the table. Um, and over here, too, Noah, I know I'm, I'm smelling this lemon zest. It is absolutely incredible. You're over here grating the lemon zest, and you're topping it off on these beautiful mason jars. What, what, what are in these jars? This is a trifle. This is a sample of what we'll have at uh, the other side restaurant. Mm -hmm. So it's angel food cake on the bottom layer. Uh, the middle layer is uh, lemon poppy curd wow. uh, with some strawberry compote, fresh whipped cream, and lemon zest. Oh, oh my goodness! Okay, you, you you had me at uh, at the at the cream. Woohoo! That sounds amazing. Okay, and then this is also the example of the deviled eggs with the caviar on top as well, yep, right? Yeah, something that you might see um, at Pebble Beach, Passmore Ranch, mm. big rancher of um, sturgeon and many other things. But caviar, huge thing, decadent at Pebble Beach Food and Wine. People just lose their themselves lose over their minds, they lose right? their minds yes. over the caviar and then and then the, the, lastly you had mentioned this is another uh, example of some of the small plates what it, what is this one right here that's some lovely uh, Hudson Valley foie gras which is not so local but complete decadence um, with some local strawberries and I love is... I love the word decadence too because that is exactly what this is looking like and beginning to smell like right here in in the kitchen um absolutely incredible and it, I'm, I'm so hungry I want to dive in but I know I can't without our resident foodie so I think it's time for Sam Eats. So Sam, Sam, come on in. I am so jealous of you right now. Seriously, hey, I want to so dive good. in on everything. Good. Okay. Wow. All right, so are we going to pass this on down? Yeah. I don't know Absolutely. what to eat and where to start. Okay. Everything so sounds get into incredible. That. That's, that's, that's foie gras. Super, yeah, foie gras. Foie gras. Foie gras. And, and can you explain to our viewers, um, for those who may not be very familiar, what exactly is foie gras? Fatted duck liver. Okay. Uh, basically, um, a duck that had a oh really, really high-calorie diet and produce something quite tasty for us mm -hmm. to eat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a chunky duck that's It really is a chunky delicious. duck, yeah. Okay, so you have strawberry on top of that. Mm -hmm. Stra yeah, just some fresh okay. strawberries on top of that on a crisp You use bread. the word decadent. That's the right word because it's uh, both the salty and the sweet are bold and pronounced. Yeah. And they, they're not fighting. It's beautiful. Give that ketchup a bit of a go with a steak there. Okay. Like it's dip really, a little um, bit of steak in yeah, there? Yeah, just dip it in there. And this was the four beet. That's what just a beet, beet, that's ketchup? A beet ketchup and it's got um, minimal ingredients in there, but oh. it has that that sweetness, that tanginess, and the earthiness mm -hmm. of the beet, mm -hmm. 
So I think with a steak, I'm actually going to be serving something similar to this with duck at Pebble Beach. So my God. You can imagine that's that's yeah. pretty well. I love me some beach, but that, that takes it to a whole other level, and um, the steak couldn't be more perfect. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's a Teach wagon. me your ways. I know, right? It's like a piece of butter. Okay, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, man. Okay, and obviously we're coming up on the lunch hour, so I know there's a lot of stomachs that are grumbling. Oh, wow. Where can viewers go to follow you so they can be um, abreast of your restaurant's opening? Um, I'm at Oliver Ridgeway on Instagram and at Camden Spit and Larder on my restaurant side, and we are track7brewing.com or track7brewing on Instagram and Facebook. Gentlemen, yeah. thank you so much. I know Sam Love thanks it. you because he's going to continue so good. to eat. Hey Sam going to thank you in a moment when I get to eat. Everybody, we'll see you back here tomorrow at 11.30 as we continue to bring value mm. home right here on Stack & Co. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. The following interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.